What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We're feeling old and bold because it's episode 60 of the Switch It Up Show. Today, I am your host, Seth Trav, joined as always by our friend Glenn. How you doing today, Mr. Seth Trav? Are you ready for everything that we got going on today on the Switch It Up Show? Are you prepared? I am, in fact. I'm so prepared because I saw that we were hitting the big 60, so I figured we must be a classic now. A classic of podcasting, a classic of reviewing in general. So I decided that I was going to take a trip at the classical uh, music uh, rhythm-based game, Pianista. Ooh. But before we hit that review, ladies and gentlemen, you know we're going to let that beat ride. Anamanaguchi, classical music in their own right. <laughs> absolutely, my man, absolutely. Classical chiptune is what we provide you here on the Switch It Up show. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for... Oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, I've actually gone ahead, interrupted Mr. Seth Trav. I have cut his microphone. I have stolen the show because my game, City of Brass, is all about thievery. And taking what is yours. So I'm going to go ahead, jump in front of Mr. Seth Trav, steal the spotlight so I can talk to you about being a thief in City of Brass, which is available on the Nintendo eShop for $19.99. Comes out this February the 8th. Now, let me go ahead and hit you with a little bit of the synopsis here. A first-person action adventure inspired by Arabian Nights from a senior from the senior BioShock developers become a daring thief in City of Brass, a first-person action adventure from senior BioShock developers armed with a Skymar <laughs> and a versatile whip, you'll lash, lash and slash bait and trap your way into the heart of an opulent Arabian Nights theme metropolis or face certain death as time runs out this is another one of those procedurally generated hits um, that we used to get a whole bunch of over on the nintendo switch but unlike a lot of those procedurally generated games this is not third person this is not a top-down shooter this is kind of like a first person um almost like an fps and instead you have like you know like this big scythe and a whip and basically you're placed into this um to this like abandoned um like arabian nights themed not castle but palace and in here your goal is really to just take everything i know you <laughs> and i suffer from the same thing where when we walk into a level we want to open every chest look in every single drawer like just go through everything and this game exactly. this game is both like you know you're gonna it's your dream and it's your nightmare because there is stuff in every gold like magic Everything, everything is in these drawers, and it's your goal to take as much of it, um, you know, before the enemies come after you and kill you, or before you run out of time. And what's neat is that they throw a little saw twist in there, um, because uh, aside from just the enemies that are coming after you, there's all types of different booby traps that are around the different levels. You have spikes that shoot up out of the wall. Uh, you have en um, explodable objects, enemies that pop up out of nowhere. Uh, like it's crazy. But luckily, you know, since this is an Arabian Nights themed type world there's also some genies around that you can make a wish uh, and you can wish for different weapons you can wish for special powers or you can even wish to have like all the traps in a certain area disabled for you that way you can go through and like capture all the treasure hopefully before the time runs out um and what's neat about this is no level is ever the same it's procedurally generated what's difficult about this is that no level is ever the same it's procedurally generated so you won't have the genie give you money um, you don't really collect mu I mean, you collect treasure for, uh, points and the everything. The genie can't give you the treasure? Uh, well, he can kind of help you, um, Prince he Ali or she. Uh, but let me tell you, Mr. Trav, the graphics in this game for, like, the Nintendo Switch, not that Nintendo Switch is a slouch, because, you know, a lot of games, especially first-person Mario games, look awesome. Um, they look really, really, really good, uh, on this game. I was, I was, I was taken aback. 
Um, and I almost felt like this game was a little bit uh, kind of relaxing as I started to play it. I mean, there's a lot of enemies. They come after you and everything. Um, but, like, I love... Relaxing just... for you to steal from people? Yeah. You, you know what it is? I think... I Easy think, going time robbing? You know what it is? Like, I just felt like I got into that Destiny groove where I was just getting my glimmer. You know? And I was okay. just going through and I was just killing these enemies, getting treasure, watching my score go up. And I was like, I like this, you know? Um, so, in some ways, it's repetitive like that. Um, but there's all types of cool things you can do like with the whip you can um grab stuff you can shoot the whip out like lash it and bring stuff over to you um you can hit enemies when, with it you can stun them um you can pull them closer to you um you can push enemies further you can have them set traps off um so as soon as you walk into a room you can kind of look around try to find the traps figure out how you're gonna attack the situation so you can maximize your time get the most amount of treasure and get out of there while you still can um, I like this game. The graphics are spot on. Um, the only thing that's kind of uh, confusing is uh, I love the genie idea and everything like that, but they don't really specify what you can buy from the genie. They all have a name and like a symbol, so you can kind of get the gist of what's going on. But until you buy the item, it doesn't necessarily tell you what it does. Because as you buy an item, it like unlocks it in your journal and you know what it is for the future. Um, but beforehand, you don't really know what it is. Um, you have an idea, like there might be like feet on it, so you can think all right well maybe this will help me go faster maybe this will help me go quieter uh you kind of just have to like you know cross your fingers and guess um but the game is fun um the graphics are awesome uh if you like um you know like a first person uh kind of like hack and slash if you are a fan of like you know assassin's creed um this might be uh up your alley if you like aladdin i feel like if aladdin like aladdin, aladdin like steals right it's been a while since i've seen a movie yeah, he picks the picks the all right, well, if Aladdin was, like, you know, just on a spree, this might be what it was. Um, it's $19.99. The graphics, like I said, are really, really good. Um, it's For a game that looks this good, I would expect to pay more than this. Um, so I think that's a fair price. I think it could be a little bit cheaper. It would be even, even better. Uh, but um, you know what? I, I got to say, I enjoyed this game. This is solid four. Easy. All day. City of Brass. It might be repetitive, but that's fine. You'll, you'll, you'll love it. Speaking of repetitive, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are going to be going on about Pianista, the legendary virtuoso, which is $24.99 when you buy it digitally on the Nintendo eShop. It's high-end piano music game. That's what it says. A single sentence. High-end piano music game. <laughs> Play premium sound on Nintendo Switch. Designed for Nintendo Switch only. Uh, beautifully tuned music and marvelous technique awaits. Lay your fingers on the controller to explore the sound of piano. Choose four keys or six keys to perform and select three songs to play. Challenge highest score to compete with others in rank. Also, hidden stages are available when you achieve special missions. Concours. Packaged challenge sorted by different themes. This mode features various difficulty and missions. Show your best performance in Concours. Ensemble. Using Joy-Con to perform a duet. Customize your own playstyle using different piano skins. Speed options. And more options with friends for best result. <laughs> Check your play status in library. Also, world's famous composer and their songs. <laughs> there are many piano skins to collect, which inspired by world's famous paintings. Achieve special missions to complete your collection. Wow. Shakespeare superb wrote this, corp. right? Yeah, superb corp. My god. Did you, you need, I, I'm guessing they're not from around here. It does, and by here I mean the Americas, the colonies. So, okay, on the translation there, uh, the game is better than the translation. I'll tell you that much. It is. It's Guitar Hero for a piano enthusiast. You have some all-time classic piano tunes on this one. Um, we do have some gameplay up of this, uh, and we were actually hit by one of those faulty claims because of it and i was like you don't own chopin you're some chinese company that makes plastic why are you claiming that you own chopin get out of here you know you don't own bach come on now making claims on bach like that anyway that's my little gripe about that if you're if you're going to stream this game um 
I played it in duet mode with uh, Sarah's cousin or Sarah's nephew, uh, Sarah, my girlfriend, uh, for everyone who doesn't know. Um, we had a good time. It was interesting. It was really interesting to do a duet on the piano. Um, the game is difficult, though, because unlike Guitar Hero, where it's really designed and it kind of flows well with your fingering, um, you have to use two of the directional buttons and then two of the regular buttons or three of the directional buttons and three of the regular buttons to be able to hit these keys. Um, it's really, really not as intuitive when you don't have an actual instrument there to play it on, any of this on, and, and having some knowledge of how to play these songs and things like that, it's, it's a lot more difficult on the easier levels or playing it in easy mode because they just skip so many notes that you're like, do 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 it, it you're not hitting all the do do do's, you know? You're only hitting like do 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 so it's like it's a little too dumbed down at points. But then when you get even harder and you're doing it with all these other fingering options and keys and things, it it it's it feels like it's way too much for me to do on just a controller. Like I really want to be able to have an option to go get the Nintendo Labo, build the piano, and play it right there. Like, I feel like that wouldn't be hard at all, but there's no kind of option for that. I believe this game was originally released for iOS and Android uh, mobile platforms, and I think that if it was on mobile, it would also be a lot easier to play. I, for some reason, didn't have any kind of option to touchscreen this, um, which again, I think that would make it so much better and so much easier because there are so many options to like adjust the speed, adjust the tempo, uh, things like that. You can set a metronome. It, cool, but like you're not helping me play the actual game in any kind of way. I want to be able to make this a more fluid musical experience. The different pianos are neat. You're not really getting any different sounds out of them. A few of them are, but mostly it's aesthetic. You're looking at like Starry Night on a piano, you know, by Van Gogh. You're looking at the one that Ferris Bueller was looking at, <laughs> or, you know, that one's on there. I forgot what that's called, but, like, you got the Chicago Museum of Art on a piano, you know? Um, the one made out of all the dots. I can't remember what that one's called. I like the... The one that Cameron's staring at. You know, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going yeah, closer yeah, yeah. and closer on that kid's face. Yeah, yeah, thing. I know what you mean. You can put that on a piano. It's not going to change the sound of it at all, which which bums me out because I want to hear, you know, like funky electric piano playing some of these. I want to hear the grand ivory entire piano making this sound. I want to hear an organ doing it. And some it does, but again, mostly aesthetic things. Um, and, and the game is difficult. It's hard to get a five star. Like you really, like I got 94% and I didn't, get a five star on that and i was just like oh my god this is this is too much you need, you need to calm it down pianista because you don't <laughs> make it easy to do your game with the with these fingering options let me touch screen or use a labo uh because of all that ladies and gentlemen the options for songs are awesome they are varying in difficulty um and it's like the who's who of classical you're definitely going to recognize most of these hits and if you don't you're going to get yourself some culture um for me I'm going to give it to you for a four out of five that's on a, the Switch It Up show. That's a pretty high score, you know, considering all things considered then, Mr. Trav. Because it's it's done very, very well. And and if you can make it work with, with just a controller, you're doing great. But again, you know, it, I think if you had the, the use of a guitar, if you could use like a Guitar Hero guitar, or rock band guitar, or if I could plug in an actual keyboard, or if I could use a touchscreen, I'd give you a 4.5, no problem. Um, yeah, it'd be cool. Like, yeah. I mean, the Switch has USB. Does it have USB? Right. Uh, at least on, when it's docked, it does. I think it has USB, so I should be able to just use a keyboard. It's got USB-C, it. right? Why? Like, you know, why, why can't I do that? And I know the Labo makes a piano. So yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. update this game for me. Seriously. Um... Why not? Superb Corp. Update the game. So really um, good, but not quite superb. Really? Yeah, yeah. Great game, not quite superb. That's fair enough. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, from all of us over here at the Switch It Up show, I have been at Seth Trav. He has been our friend Glenn at From the Crib. Together, we are at Switch It Up show and at Freecast. Be sure to get at us if you ever want to hear us play any other games, because if things get boring, you can always switch it up. <laughs>